it's it's a boy miss holcomb for doing some painting today <laughs> remember this clay that we had that Easton and I dug up at Devil's Lake State Park. Yippee. Well, guess what? Yippee. It's all done. Let's go check the kiln. Do, 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 do. All right. Look at, look at, it's all done. Wow. So if I go back to this control panel over here, this says that it is complete in seven hours and 30 minutes. So we heated up the kiln, then we just opened up this lid right here. So if I zoom in, look at what color they turned out. We opened it up, we didn't know what color. I thought they would be like a, a cream or a white color. Yeah. Um, do you see how like that is like a whitish color? That's what color our clay is that we buy in the classroom. And somebody used slip on this guy. And so he has, it's a Ninja Turtle, he's so good. So he's got white on him from uh, using the slip. But like, look what color these are. Wow. So they kind of are like a peachy, like orangey color. So that tells me there might be like um, iron in the, on the clay maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna grab one of my hearts that I made. I made this one on the beach um, at Devil's Lake. And it had, mine's a little bit sandy, because remember, mine was all full of sand, because my hands were dirty on the beach, so mine's a little sandy. But let's take this heart. We're gonna take it out here. I'm gonna show you how to paint it. Yay. Time. So there is paint, and then there is glaze. So paint is either watercolors, or paint is like this kind of stuff. That just goes on, this is called tempera. So if I painted this onto my project, I would be able to take it to this sink, and I could wash it off if I wanted to. So I don't wanna do that. I want this to be permanent on top of here. So what I need to do is get a paper towel, and this is what we're gonna to do today. So you get a paper towel, put your clay project on top of it, and then you're gonna choose what color you want. Notice how I picked it up by the sides of this. Do not pick it up by the lid, because look at this lid is not on all the way. So Easton, can you get that lid off for me, please? Right. Use two hands. Thank you, sir. Why is it so crusty and musty? Well, it's it's dry on the edge, um, cause we're it's halfway gone. Look it's crusty here. as my old grandma. <laughs> Easton, no, that's not. All right, so this one is called Fire Engine Red, and if I scrub this off right here, you can read it right down here, Fire Engine Red. But you notice what color is inside the jar? What color is that, Easton? Uh, pink. It's pink. So it's not even quite red. So we're going to have to just trust that this is going to turn out red when we're done. Now I'm going to glob on one full layer of color on here. But if I wanted to do different um, different colors, I would use different size brushes. So we've got the brushes there. right over here. And then brushes over here. I brought them over. So if I'm going to paint the whole thing all one color, I'm going to take one brush and I just dip it in. Wipe off the edge. So cool. Go ahead, Easter Lane. Okay. Get it. And mine, mine's gonna kind of be sandy to paint. It's kind of weird. So then, yeah, so dip cool. back in because it's soaking in. Dip it's, back in the paint. It's like a super cool texture. Yeah. And we're gonna get all the way down to the edges of it, but we're not gonna paint the back of it. It's all the way down to the edge. If you get in a spot where you don't want it, you can take a paper towel, get a little bit of the corner of this wet, and then wipe before, it off. And when before it dries. Yeah. Now let's say I wanted to paint um, a yellow heart shape in the middle. I would take this one, dip in my yellow, and then go boop, boop. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. You're doing great on that. Um, you can pick it up. It's not gonna hurt your fingers. <laughs> you don't want to get dirty. Kind of. Yeah, get right in there. Sometimes you might have to dab it in there just a little bit, like poke, poke, poke. You can't get in there. Hey, <laughs> there's something stuck on your brush. So again, we're gonna grab a paper towel, grab a small size brush, because we made small projects. Most of you aren't gonna do yours the whole, all one color. And then you're gonna grab your glaze. The glaze is all on the front table, right up here. And I'll help you choose the colors that you want. There's purples, greens, yellows, blues, oranges, whatever color you want. So when you're all done, you're gonna wash out the brush in the sink and we are successful at our experiment from Devil's Lake. Yippee!